sat down actually ended up being a little bit further away, so we ended up getting told multiple times that you know that we were going to be arrested, and then they walked away. Just I wanted for me personally to be in solidarity with the other folks who put themselves on the line, um, and also just to bring attention to this. So this has been going on for a week now. Um, we've already gotten up to almost a thousand arrests by next week. That'll definitely be the case, and then yep. I think that will definitely have crossed um, sort of the historic space of, of it being the most arrests in the capital. And um, so far, we've gotten no communication back about what we're trying to do here. Um, but it's been on multiple different issues, from taking money out of politics to statehood for DC to. Um, you know, reestablishing the, the VRA, which is going to be coming up with Democracy Awakening. I think these are really important issues, um, and the people really need them, and, and we're taking and putting ourselves on the line for what a lot of people across America and I think across the planet really want to be able to see happen in America, which is one person, one vote, um, and to really take the money out of politics so that we can have fair elections where real progressives and, and people can be going up and running for office and be seen, and we can have true options. Um, for our leadership, which we have not been able to see. We've seen a lot of money in politics, which has distorted um, our politics and, and our legislation. And um, I just thank you very much for covering this, and I hope that you continue to do so because this is a tremendous issue, and I'm really grateful that I could be here. And I wanted to say the police were really great with us and really lovely. I, I have to say that is not the case for so many people. Right. Dreamers, Black Lives Matter activists, so many people are not seeing this kind of Courageousness. I think it's because we're here in front of the Capitol with all of these people watching. You know, there was someone who was dancing earlier who was very, very aggressively taken down um, earlier that we saw. Um, but in general, it has been, uh, they've been really kind and very sweet with everyone that I've noticed. And even coming over, some of the people and officers that I met have clearly been interacting with you guys every single day. So they're making very light of it. And I just want to say that there's, 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 I'm great. It's great to hear that news, and it's really lovely. But the reality is that is not the case for a lot of people across America who are also showing to civil disobedience to bring light and attention to some of the very critical matters that are ahead of us. And I hope that officers across the nation can take heed of that and recognize that the peaceful protests that are going around this nation should also be treated the same way as we are being treated here today.